In its simplest form, it is the movement to achieve equality for all people. So contrary to popular belief, it's not exclusively about women. It's not exclusively about white women. Um, because women as a group were not homo homogenous in any way, shape or form. It can mean different things to different people. That's the thing, like, there's a, obviously a clear definition of what feminism is, but for a person in the US, or a white woman in the US, it will be completely different to um, an African woman, um, like in Nigeria, for example. Their feminism will, won't necessarily match. The movement came about for people to recognise that women are human beings and we are important in order for social order, in order for the, for the world to just run smoothly as best as possible. I find it hard, unless, unless you know, equality for all people is something that will not benefit you, and often, if you're at the top of the hierarchy, that's why you're going to be against it. But otherwise, for, for the vast majority of us, that's not a bad thing. You're looking, you're looking at different com, um, factors that make someone a feminist and what separates them. So. Race and class, which are important. Race, class and sexism are important things right now in the world. Racism, because it's largely ignored within the feminist movement, the white nation feminist movement, as well as classism because we live in a capitalistic world. The example that I used earlier about the woman in the US and the woman in Nigeria, um, I think what's important is to um, take, take note and pay attention to um, the suffering that other people are facing. So because, yeah, gender, um, just, sorry, because pay and um, might be something that you're interested in, but you should also focus on the issues that women in another country will face. And I think some feminism does tend to overlook those issues. So um, Emma Watson's speech the other um, week was a perfect example. Um, she didn't really address some of the key issues within feminism. So FGM, um, I don't know, child marriages, um, sex trafficking, all those little things that won't affect many people in the US or the UK, in the Western world, but they'll affect people in Eastern Europe, Asia, Africa, South America. I would say trust is like patriarchy, however you want to say it. Um, yeah, it benefits men, it does, because that's what it is, it's a well done system. But it also tells men, it takes men, how they should feel and how they should not open up about their, their, their emotions. But men aren't robots, we're human beings. Women are taught from early to be able to cry. They're taught they, have, they, they should be able to, to like hugs and feel love and blah, blah, blah. Whereas men are taught, told from young that, you know, big boys don't cry. When you're hurt, you shouldn't cry. You're a big boy, don't cry. You know, why are you crying for? Things like that. And then they continuously to hold that emotion and lock it up. And then that, that leads to them not being able to form, most of the time not being able to form honest relationships because they're unable to open up about certain things. And when I hear, when I see how, when I see some people say, some men say how they've never cried and they would never cry and crying is not for them, it's sad because sometimes crying is a good release for people. It's a good release when there's, when there's no word to explain how you're feeling, sometimes just shedding tears, it's a good release and there's nothing emasculating about that. And that's where it comes from because, because crying is seen as a feminine thing and because, fem, um, because women are seen as weak, men don't want to cry because they don't want to be viewed as weak. But women aren't weak. Crying is not going to make you weak. Crying shows, crying or showing your emotions just shows that you are a human being and there's nothing wrong with being a human being. Don't understand that feminism isn't a movement to oppress them at all. It's very much a movement to liberate them. You know, and to liberate all, to liberate all of us. My, my hero, Bell Hooks, very much laments that we don't agree on a definition. But I think my, my definition of feminism is very much in line with hers. It's a, it's a movement to achieve equality for all people. Um, and that means, you know, it can't exist within patriarchy. I don't want it to exist within matriarchy. Um, but yeah, it's the movement to achieve equality for all people.